Hello, my name is Stephen Cabley. I'm a senior industrial design major here, and I serve as an RA in Dunn Hall. I grew up in Portland, Oregon, along with my four brothers and two very patient parents. <laughs> I have been a Notre Dame fan since birth, being well indoctrinated by my dad, a 92 grad, and my mom, who graduated here in 1994. My favorite show growing up was Notre Dame football, and I'm pretty sure my first two words were beat Michigan. <laughs> this cross that you see uh, was an art project of mine my sophomore year here at Notre Dame. I was taking a sculpture class as a requirement for my design major, and I was inspired to create a piece that spoke to my experience of faith. This sculpture is made of two laser-cut pieces of wood and nails which protrude outward to create the silhouette of the face of Christ. So often we view the cross as an elegant symbol and forget that it was an instrument of death and suffering. But I felt that this suffering was not something to be overlooked uh, because often when we are suffering, the most is when we see Christ there with us. In the mad rush of moving out at the end of the semester, this sculpture sadly didn't make it into my storage and ended up in the dumpster behind my dorm. I will come back to this in a minute, but first I'd like to jump back a couple of years. When I was a high schooler beginning to look at colleges, I was drawn to Notre Dame not only as a premier academic institution, but also as a place that would allow my faith to grow and flourish. It was clear to me that Notre Dame took its Catholic identity seriously and that here I would gain the tools to live out that faith tangibly in the world. When I was accepted to Notre Dame in mid-December, I was thrilled, but I kept my emotions guarded because I did not know whether I would be able to afford Notre Dame. And then I waited. A couple very long months passed, and I got the letter. It was my financial aid package, a really, really good financial aid package. And it was made possible by you, members of the Kavanaugh Council and President Circle. Immediately, the fear and pressure of the financial burden was gone. I remember my mom weeping with joy and me trying hard to avoid eye contact with her so I didn't burst into tears as well. Attending Notre Dame has made some incredible opportunities a reality for me. Last fall, I was blessed with the chance to study abroad in Rome and participate in the rich Catholic tradition that is ingrained in the very fabric of the city. It was inspiring to be immersed in the beauty created by painters, sculptors, and architects throughout the various places of worship. While abroad, I had the experience of working with the missionaries of charity to care for elderly men who were immigrants to Rome and did not have medical insurance provided to citizens. It was humbling to work alongside these sisters who day in and day out performed the most undesirable tasks with joyful hearts. I cannot imagine anyone being too excited about hand washing soiled men's laundry, but these women were cheerful through it all. When I returned from study abroad in the spring, I moved back into Dunn Hall I was anxious to find my place again in the dorm, especially since there were so many new faces. While this adjustment seemed difficult at first, one experience I had shortly after moving in helped me realize that this community was my home. In the spring, I lived on the first floor, which meant that I had to walk through the main lobby of Dunn to every day to get to class. Turning into this lobby from the hallway, the first thing immediately visible is the housekeeper's closet, which is propped open each morning as the housekeepers go about their cleaning. As I walked this route, the first day of class in January, I saw a familiar shape on the back wall of this closet that caused me to stop in my tracks. The object on the wall was a cross, the very one I had discarded the previous May. To my astonishment, this piece was now resurrected on the back wall of the closet, greeting me as I walked out the door to class. In the eyes of our housekeeper, this symbol of faith had value, enough to be retrieved from the dumpster and hung on a wall where the men of Dunn would see it. This cross has become a daily reminder to me that my place is here, and above all, 
that I have a God who loves me infinitely. Thank you, members of the Kavanaugh Council and President Circle, for making it possible for me to be a part of this community of faith at Notre Dame. I am truly blessed by your generosity. Thank you. <laughs>